Hey guys, gonna be messing with this A4000 here today. It was sitting outside in the garage throughout fall and winter to lower the temps, but I had to get this rig inside. It's the hottest card in the farm. I could throw it in the hot box. It's nice and cold right now, but I still have to worry about summertime. So I'm gonna be trying a, an interesting mod today that I saw online. I'm gonna try and add a heat sink to the back of this guy. We'll see how it goes. Here's the relative temps, so it's sitting at 59 with a 74 on memory. And then the first card in the rig is sitting at 43, and the next one's at 40. So we'll come back to those temperatures and see if we make any kind of improvement. I'm going to pull that card out of there and see if this works. Alright, so I got some heat sinks. Got a big old chunk of thermal pad, uh, 2 millimeter. I would really like 3 millimeter, but this is what I have on hand. So if you're going to do this, I'm going to suggest 3 millimeter and hope I don't break anything today. The part I'm worried about with only using the 2 millimeter pads is there's all those little solder points on the back there, and I'm sticking a metal heat sink on it. So I really don't want to short anything out by putting a metal heat sink on a GPU that doesn't have a back plate. So that's why I'm really worried about the thickness of these pads. The screws, I think, are the biggest area that I have to get past. They stick up quite a bit. Uh, I got a fan. Throw it all on the back of this and zip tie it on and see what happens. So I got the thermal pad cut. By the way, I went with the Thermal Odyssey because I had it on hand and it hasn't worked for any of my other projects, so this would be a great project to use it on. And I wanted to see what temps are like if I just throw the fan on the back, see if that does anything. So we're going to try this first, the safer option, before I go throwing that on there. So get some zip ties on it, get it in there. All right, our rig's back up to temp, and memory has not changed, but core and hotspot have gone up by two degrees, so just a fan does not work. Makes things worse, so try again. Man, this thing is ugly, but it's on there. Not making great contact by any means. Three millimeter would definitely be the recommended size, so we'll see if this makes any difference. So I had to abandon the fan. The zip ties kept just hitting the blades, so we're going to try it with just heat sinks. Not bad. Dropped about two degrees from core and memory, so I gotta figure out some creative way to keep that fan from falling off of there. See if we can drop that even more. <laughs> this is the dumbest thing I've ever done. Yeah, this is the dumbest thing. So a zip tie to hold it there, zip tie to hold it there, and then three zip ties across. It's in place. We'll see if I have enough room to plug the riser in. Ugh. All right, temps are back up, and we have shaved off about 6 degrees off the memory. About 4 or 5 degrees off of the core. 4 degrees off the memory is nice. 4 to 6, it's kind of hovering around there. So if I got the right size pads, this might work. But it's dumb. The dumbest thing I've ever done. Well, maybe not the dumbest, but it's up there. So A4000, don't buy it unless you have an enclosed server case. If you have an open airframe, they just they get way too hot. Get them in a forced air server case, then you don't have to go through all this stuff. It's a waste of time. But I bought one, had to test it out. Efficiency is great on them, you know, almost 65 at 120 watts. It's a great card for efficiency, but trying to keep it cool is a pain. So. All right, so I went and ordered the three millimeter pads, but they still weren't quite thick enough. So I reused that two millimeter pad. I only went with two heat sinks this time and kind of cleaned up the zip ties a bit. It's still pretty ugly, but it's a little bit cleaner. It didn't change much from the original test I did, so I think maybe if I want to redo it, I might just do smaller heat sinks and keep them right on the memory. That might help a bit more. So thanks for hanging out today, guys, and I will see you on the next one. Later.